You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Oh boy, Black and White Sports fans. If you guys thought we were done talking about Laurel Hubbard weightlifting in the Tokyo Olympics against women, and in case you guys don't know, Laurel Hubbard is a biological man that competed in the Tokyo Olympics weightlifting against women and absolutely flamed out was the only competitor that could not complete a single lift. Now I called it probably divine intervention because I don't believe that biological males should actually be competing against females. I just don't believe that is fair, but something happened and Laurel Hubbard just completely flame, flamed out in the competition yesterday. But you guys know my take on this. You guys know how Rhodes feels about this. But what nobody is talking about is how the competitors against Laurel Hubbard actually felt about Laurel Hubbard actually competing as a woman in the weightlifting class at the Olympics. But now, folks, we know how they feel because the gold, silver and bronze medalists, they were on a panel and they were asked about Laurel Hubbard. And guys, their response said a thousand words. And guys, they didn't say one word. So let's dive into this. Check this out. An Olympics reporter was met with silence when he asked the women's weightlifting podium about Laurel Hubbard. Now, these women won bronze, silver and gold. And their message about Laurel Hubbard actually competing in these Olympics were pretty clear. And to me, it seems like they rejected Laurel Hubbard competing in the Olympics against him. And the women here on the podium, Emily Campbell, Lee Win-Win, and Sarah Robles did not speak about Hubbard after the event. So let's dive into this. This is going to be fun right here. An Olympics reporter was met with an awkward silence when he asked the women's weightlifting podium about Laurel Hubbard. The gold medal winner, China's Lee Win-Win, the silver medalist, Britain's Emily Campbell, and the bronze medalist, the U.S.'s Sarah Robles, were speaking at a media event after the plus 87 kilogram competition on Monday. Now, it's a shame, guys, that we know Laurel Hubbard, who performed pathetically, and we don't know the names of any of these women that actually won. So congratulations to them. They won. Lee set Olympic records in the snatch, 140 kilograms and the clean and jerk 180 kilograms to claim the championship with a 320 kilogram total lift. Campbell edged out Robles by one kilogram with our total 283 kilogram lift. Now, here we go. The event was also notable because of Laurel Hubbard's participation. The New Zealand weightlifter failed to record a single lift. This is so funny. I can't believe this is funny. But made history as the first openly transgender Olympian. Here is the question here, guys. And this is just classic. Quote, there was a historic night here with Laurel Hubbard competing as the first openly transgender in an individual event. The reporter said at the press conference, I was wondering what you felt about that and what you felt that took place in your sport. The reporter asked the podium. Campbell had been speaking at length, but the reporter appeared to be asking all the athletes for the for their insights on Hubbard's participation in Tokyo. At first, nobody answered. Nobody answered. Lee was unfazed. Campbell did not move and Robles sip water. Eight seconds passed before Robles said, no, thank you. They didn't want to talk about Laurel Hubbard because to me, guys, this just speaks volumes right here. These women reject Laurel Hubbard participating in a women's competition when Laurel Hubbard is a biological man and their silent their silence on this spoke volumes. If you ask me, they outright reject this. But the media, of course, you know, the media, they love this. They love all of this. You know, they were probably expecting these women to say, oh, right on, Laurel Hubbard, we support you and everything. No, they got none of that. And Robles just said, no, thank you. 
which is telling me we reject Laurel Hubbard. You know, China, the people in China, you know, they're not going to go for that. So I'm not surprised that Win Win uh, didn't say anything. But all three women, all three women that won a medal said nothing about Laurel Hubbard. They didn't want to talk about Laurel Hubbard. They were probably disgusted that Laurel Hubbard was able to compete against them. And boy, this says a lot to me, a lot to me. But you know what? I'm not surprised because we've had several other women that actually competed in New Zealand come out and say, no, this is not right. Uh, apparently, Laura Hubbard had actually broken the records of an actual female champion in New Zealand. And that champion did not feel good about this. Now you have the medalists, gold, silver, bronze, all coming out and saying nothing about Laura Hubbard when asked about Laura Hubbard. See, the media, they, they took a beating on this one because I'm pretty sure the media was actually expecting them to say, right on, we support her, we support Laura Hubbard and all that. No, they didn't get any of that. Any of that. This is gold right here, guys. This is gold. I had to bring this to you guys. I didn't know about this until um, about 30 minutes ago. And this story actually came out, I believe, like nine hours ago uh, on, on the web. So we're just finding out about this. The women seem to reject Laurel Hubbard. This is not a surprise to me whatsoever. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.